know, sometimes people need to use common sense when it's time to go due to a natural disaster. Sometimes you just have to go. It's no joke. Lava flow from Hawaii's Kilauea. Volcano blocking escape routes. So these are people that are probably trying to tough it out and believe that all of that lava is not going to come around where they live. Well, that's not panning out to be true when you look at the recent reports that have come out. Lava continues to blast from Hawaii's Kilauea um, volcano, and it's cutting off escape routes for people trying to evacuate. The massive amounts of lava and the uh, Leilani Estates is spreading fast. It has burst more than 25 stories high. Wow, can you imagine looking at lava that is shooting up 25 stories high? That is outrageous. And reaching temperatures of nearly 2,000 degrees. You can't fight that. You, you cannot, there is no way for you to even block something like that. The scientific aspect of this is fascinating, but it's temperature hugely by the fact that this is a neighborhood and people have lost homes, said Scott Rowland, a geologist with the University of Oregon. And if you look, it's going straight into this neighborhood right here, Leilani Estates. And I, I just I just don't understand why people would build their homes on a volcano. I, I just can't comprehend that. So far, 75 houses have been destroyed. Inside the evacuation zone, tensions are running high. John Hubbard, 61, is accused of opening fire and assaulting a neighbor who came back to check on his property. Stress is high, anxiety is high, said Talmadge Mag Magno. With the National Park Service, they see strange people in their subdivision and they're trying to protect themselves. It's a hard time for folks that are still in there. I don't know why they're still there. Seriously, why are they still there? You know, people are not using common sense. Meanwhile, workers are digging a new evacuation route. Lava has already overturned the main roads, Highway 132, leaving people in about 500 homes and vacation rentals with just one escape route left. Wow. If the lava flows across Highway 137, there will be no way out. The National Guard has helicopters on standby, just in case. Nobody should have to go through that. People, you know, what they need to do is make it a mandatory evacuation. If you know all of the escape routes are now covered with lava and there's only one left, then it should be a mandatory evacuation to get those damn people out of there. I tell you what, I wouldn't go in there with no helicopter. <laughs> I'm sorry, I wouldn't. We want those people to leave, said Jeff Hickman of the Hawaii National Guard. We want to have first responders and National Guardsmen or Marines in helicopters putting their life at risk to rescue them. Wow. About 400 out of 2,000 forced from their homes are still in emergency shelters. It's not clear how many people remain inside the evacuation area, but authorities want to make it clear that if they need help, they may not be able to respond. Yeah, with all that lava, how are they going to do it? Wow. 
you know, some of these people need to really use, I ah, forget it. I mean, if they want to be stupid and stay in there, then let them be stupid. Please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I will see you on the next video. Peace, family.